Hello, Susanna Reid here from Good Morning Britain. My question is, which is the most significant political television interview that you have either seen or been involved with? Perhaps it changed your opinion about an issue or changed the direction of a policy or a politician's fortunes. It's a very good question, Susanna. I, I've, I thought one of the most consequential interviews was by James Landale for the BBC with David Cameron in his home in Oxfordshire. In his kitchen. Yes, before the 2015 election. It definitely comes a time where fresh, you know, a fresh pair of eyes yeah. and fresh leadership would be good. And, and the Conservative Party has got some great people coming up, the Theresa Mays and the George Osbournes and the Boris Johnsons. And, the, you know, there's plenty yeah. of talent there. There's a, yeah. I'm surrounded by so, very so good no, people. So, you know, the full five years, but no the, third the term. Thir the third term is uh, not something I'm contemplating. Terms are like shredded weed. Two are wonderful. Three might just be too many. Cameron is saying, I'm not going to fight the election after next. Now, you might say, well, who cares about that? It's a long way ahead. And uh, he was actually trying to get away from the kind of Tony Blair and Margaret Thatcher answers, which is, I'm going to go on and on and it looks you make you look incredibly arrogant. When I spoke to him after the interview, he said, you know, I'd also given some boring answers. I was trying to sound more human. The interview wasn't going very well. But it had a massive effect because it meant after the general election, which we won, suddenly everyone knew Cameron was going. Mm. And so the Tory leadership contest almost starts immediately after that general election, even though he's just won the first Tory majority in decades. And when you get to the Brexit referendum, it means that Boris Johnson knows there's going to be a Tory leadership contest. He probably thinks that I'm going to be his most likely opponent. I'm involved in the Remain campaign. And you remember Boris is wondering whether to go vote, leave or Remain. He writes two articles, blah, blah, blah. But I'm sure that in his mind, he's thinking mm. there's going to be a Tory leadership contest coming. And I think if David Cameron had not given that interview, Boris Johnson would have been thinking, oh, Cameron's going to be here for years. He's probably going to win this referendum. I'm not going to get a job in his cabinet. My time will pass and so on. So it's, you know, what, what, Tory and Labour prime ministers have discovered is the moment you say you're going, you've effectively gone. What so much of the power of a prime minister is their patronage and the promise that they're going to be there for a long time to come. But as you said, David Cameron was trying to avoid the Tony Blair thing of saying on and mm. on. And actually either saying I will go on and on or I'm not going to go on and on. Both of them are a problem. Fundamentally, you can't ever put a shelf life on your leadership. It's always got to be a surprise hmm. when you go. In the 2005 election, when Tony Blair was quite unpopular, Gordon Brown much more popular. You remember the famous moment where they... The did, ice cream. The ice cream. In Kent, wasn't it? That's right. There was a discussion as to whether Tony Blair should say he would be standing down early in the next parliament, you know, implicitly giving way to Gordon Brown. And all of us, Gordon included, all said to Alistair Campbell and Philip Gould, no, Tony Blair should not say that. Because if he does, it will just mean that there will be continual speculation mm. from the moment after the but election. there was. There was. The, from the moment the, the, 25th, the, 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 from the moment the 2005 election was over, it was all about when's Gordon coming in. But it would have been even worse if Tony Blair had actually confirmed that. Um, that was the um, our feeling at the time. Anyway, really good question from Susanna because it kind of provokes lots and lots of thoughts and memories uh, for us. Brilliant. Mm -hmm.